So Lex Friedman decided to give up the Civil War. He put his musket down. He's retiring Emacs, and he's going to VS Code. Hey, Prime! Hey, Prime! Hey, Prime! Hey, Prime! Hey, Prime! Stop tagging me on this, okay? I don't need any more of this. Hey, Prime! I'm trash. Hey, Prime! Hey, Prime! It's not funny. I'm gonna talk to you about something serious, and it's gonna take me two points to make it, so please follow along and listen carefully, because it actually is coming around to something I consider quite valuable. In fact, it took me about 12 to 15 years to learn this, so press the like button now, because that's free, and 15 years cost me a lot of time. So when I got started out in college, I started using NetBeans. NetBeans, of course, was really dedicated towards the JDK and the Java development, and in school, it required Java, and, you know, I was in there like NetBeans, baby. I was so good at it. But here's the thing is that I didn't really learn the editor. I didn't know how to compile Java. I kind of just had, like, my little walled garden that I worked in. I could press the play button, the debug button, and I could get my assignment passed but I never took the time to really learn my editor, my OS, command line tools, anything. I never had this desire to not just simply be good at coding but be good at the tools that I use. And it took me a long time before that really settled in because I would always say the exact same thing that people say to me on Twitter all the time. You guys use Vim and you just wanna be cooler than everybody else. And you know, I don't have time to be configuring anything. I need my editor out of the way so I can code. I literally said that stupid crap all the time. But real talk, that was a big mistake on my part. And the mistake is twofold. So like I said, this is the important part. So the first thing is, is that I never really got good at my tool. The amount of speed ups and the things you can do, regardless of the editor you use, go ahead, use VS Code. Sorry, sorry, uh, VS Sorry, this is a family friendly stream. I'm sorry about that. Emacs, Nano, whatever you use, learn it, become great at it. It's gonna save you time, not just like fractional seconds time. We are talking about lots of time. Because when you get really good at the Git integration with the undo tree integration, along with just the different, just like there's so many awesome tools out there, talking about refactoring, go to definitions, all those things, like you will start saving real time. And here's the second part. It really instills a different attitude in you. See, before I just wanted the shortcut from where I was to the completion of my assignment, to getting the thing done at my job to doing what I needed to do to check some sort of box. And this led me into a mentality of I need to do X, so I will do X and that is it. And I kind of quit, like I shut the world off. I didn't learn nearly as fast. I didn't explore nearly as much. I was so focused on being the good student, the good employee, that I actually was being a bad student and a bad employee. Sure, I got the A's. Sure, I got the thumbs up from the boss but I wasn't exploring, right? I had no passion in the game. I simply just did what I needed to do to cross the line. And when I kind of changed this mentality in, my, in me where I'm like, you know what? I am gonna get really good at these arcane tools because I saw someone use said, I saw someone use Emacs, I saw someone use something that was just mind numbingly faster than me. And I thought, I could do that. I want to be that fast. I want to be that good with my tools. They really know their stuff and I don't. And I was like kind of shamed, right? Like I was shamed because of how silly it is that I've spent a decade programming and I didn't know a tenth of the stuff this other person who spent a decade and a half as me. That can't be right. It means I wasted a lot of time on things that weren't as important. And so that's what I'm trying to get at is that I hope you can adopt this mentality, this mentality of curiosity, this mentality of mastery. If you're 20 years old, this is the thing you're going to be doing for potentially the next 40 years. Learn to love it. Learn to be a master of it. Learn your editor. Please, you don't have to use NeoVim, though it is the best. <laughs> it's just the best. That took me longer than 10 years to learn, and I'm hoping that you can learn it in less than 10 minutes. And if you did, hit that sub button. Thank you very, very much. The name is the Primogen.